All right, here we are in Volkswagen land. Got the 1915 figured out, so we'll be uh, getting back on this and uh, got some push rods for it. And I uh, got some wrist pins, got my cylinder bolted down, got my deck height all set last night. And uh, yeah, everything's good on that now. And I got my tranny all finished up. Finished that yesterday. There's a look at that. So there you go, Neil. So uh, hopefully Neil's training's going good. Watched a couple of his videos this morning. That was cool. And uh, yeah. Oh, yep. So we're uh, working on the sheet metal today. Got the sheet metal in the booth. And I just got there on the mumble. I was uh, talking to Big Jerry, Big Jay's garage. And uh, we were sort of talking about Gary Turbo Cobra's video. And uh, he said that he was uh, putting the video to action. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty powerful video. If you haven't checked that out, go over there and check uh, Gary's videos out. They're pretty, uh, pretty informative. So uh, here's where we're at. We got some uh, valve covers there and a strainer plate, some deflector plates, some more valve covers, a couple cylinder tins, aluminum pulley, uh, fan housing, a regular pulley, and a breastplate. So we'll uh, just go mix some single stage up. Now some of the sheet metal is sort of rusty. See that it's not in very good shape, but it's what the customer has, and it's uh, original OEM seems to fit a little better than the aftermarket. And uh, we got a nice doghouse fan housing and uh, the original single port uh, cylinder tens, and it's the way the customer wanted to keep it. So we'll go ahead and uh, make this look a little nicer with some black paint. So. Uh, Get this going here. Set you down over here and mix some paint up. I don't have the, the stand, so we'll, uh, we'll just sort of uh, set the camera down. I'll show you what we're gonna use. We're gonna use a mixing cup, of course. This is four to one, or you can mix it four to one to one. This is the uh, MCU black. This is a copy of the urethane single stage from uh, another company. And uh, we'll go ahead and mix this up. Let's see what hardener we're gonna use. We'll use a little, uh, oh, little six in there. And let me set you up on the camera stand here, the mixing stand. So hope everybody's having a good Sunday out there. Yep. So just uh, hook the mumble up and for some reason it seems to be working. And uh, hopefully that'll, uh, that looks like straight black to me. Four to one. I usually mix this four to one. I like to spray it sort of thick, so uh, that's what we're gonna do. Four to one. We'll open this other can up. We just mixed up and uh, pour it into the can with a label. I try to keep a little black on hand just in case, because use it for all kinds of stuff, you know, not just. Uh, Whatever. Got to paint some of the stuff on the Nova, core support, and the firewall and stuff. I'll probably use some of this. There we go. So we get rid of this can now. Let that dry out. Here. Empty can day. That's good. I like getting rid of the cans. So 
So like I said, some people like to add a little reducer in this. I like to spray it sort of on the thick side. Uh, go ahead and just leave that standard. We're not going to put any accelerator in there. Well, maybe I'll put just a splash. Just a splash. Speed it up just a little bit. That way I can get it out of there today. I got some other stuff coming in. I got a Toyota Camry to do, I think. Musty One's parents need their uh, Toyota done. Got to take care of that. So we'll do that. Always strain your paint, I think, you know? It's a good idea anyway. Yeah. It's going towards the booth here. I'm gonna get the camera stand set up and I'll grab the reservoir raid core. Oh! I got some mail I need to open. Great White North. I need to turn the lights on in here too, it's a little dark. I know the fan's a little loud, but we gotta have the fan, you know? Because uh, I wanna be able to breathe. All right, there we go. Let me grab a, let me grab the lights and the gun and the filter. GTI with a 1.5 tip. This gun has a maximum pressure of 30 psi at the regulator.
All right, we'll let that dry, clean out the gun, go inside for a little while, come back outside and uh, find something to get into. I need to put an oil pump in here and uh, do some work on this. I just wanted to get that painting done first before I got greasy. Put the drive gear in here and button this thing up some more. And uh, yeah, I've been working on this thing. Found some more rust down there hidden. You can see on the floor. So uh, I'm gonna come out here and vacuum this up, and get Hans to bolt the floor pans in, and uh, we're gonna weld these puppies in and uh, finish DA in this. I'm almost out of 80 grit. I don't know where my roll is. It's getting thin though. So uh, we'll turn this back on a little bit and do a mail video. And uh, see you guys tonight on the mumble. So, here we go. We just threw down some single stage black on some sheet metal. And, uh, most of all that stuff was for this motor right here. I painted a couple extra bow covers and stuff, but uh, the fan housings for this and the cylinder tens. And so I have to clean up the intake manifold next and uh, paint it dove gray and uh, rebuild the carburetor and. Uh, do a tune up on the distributor and get some new plugs and everything and finish this one up and uh he's also got a tranny here that's in the back of the danger over there and he's hadn't decided whether he wants to uh rebuild the tranny also so we might have to do that he's been trying to find a five rib and uh this is a couple day job so if he can't find one we'll just do that at the end so uh yeah so we got a couple cores there we're gonna build for a show you know i'll take those with me try to sell those those are mine and then we have the bus for the new fourth gear here and then we have another one outside somewhere out here over there it's uh getting built into a freeway flyer so we got a few things going on and uh Try to turn the camera on for some more videos on the trannies. Some guys are asking me some questions on uh, tranny stuff. So, and then as soon as I get these motors built here, I'm gonna go ahead and build the build the uh, 2276 or the 2010, whatever it is. I have the 82 by 9 and a half motor for the aluminum case. I'm gonna get that all built and built and sell that uh, or put it in the bus. One of the two. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I might sell it because there's a lot of guys that have been wanting motors, so uh, I'll just put the stuff together and see what I can get rid of, you know. Can't sell it in parts, that's for sure. Nobody wants pieces. They want motors. So, uh, so yeah, and uh, like Tommy said, I need some shelves in here. I got to get some of this crap off the shelf and onto a motor, you know, that'd be good. That tranny needs to go in the Bronco there, and then I got Scooter's Glass and the other wheel that didn't try to kill me and uh yeah i got those jackman wheels there that we painted the try to do the carbon fiber on and i didn't like that pattern so i got some model a headlights there if anybody uh is interested in some of those so uh those are for sale for sure all this stuff is i guess i got some big block stuff here but i guess i'm going to use this on my car i got an extra set of rods and uh I got this one intake manifold I'll probably end up using. It's oval port Wien, Wien, whatever. And then the, the heads for that motor. Mm hmm. And uh, just all kinds of shit. I've got my uh, weed, weed eater that I failed on. I tried to do the Milrick thing and it didn't work out. Couldn't get it running. So, uh, yeah, Milrick, you suck. And, uh, your video must have been no good because uh, I did everything you said and it still won't run and then I finally got it to spit and sputter and uh, 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 what happened? Where is it? Let me show you. And this shit happened. You know, I hate it when this happens. So I got that. That happened. I should have sent one of these weed eaters with uh, Musty One's dad. Got the shit running. And I got a pit bike too that I can't get running. A little uh, racer. And I need to get uh, Musty and get him to get that thing going. It's a little Bolta, a little Italian uh, badass uh, motorcycle I bought off the Snap-on truck. So, all right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Uh, make some videos and uh, 
Yep. It's uh, the mumble tonight, you know, 8 o'clock. I thought it was 9, but I guess it's 8. And uh, get on there, check that out. I'm going to go back in, maybe see if Neil pops on there. And uh, pop this video up, and we'll talk to you guys a little later.